The Ankylosaurus was a 20 foot long, 4 ton armored herbivore that lived alongside creatures like the T-Rex and Triceratops. Given its sheer size, natural plate armor, and the club on its tail, it's understandable why it's often compared to tanks and buses. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Creature Spotlight. Today we're talking about the Ankylosaurus, arguably one of the most significant creatures in Ark. We're going to be covering taming, what it's good at, and some pro tips, so without further ado, let's begin. Taming an Ankylosaurus requires a lot less effort than some of the other creatures in Ark. Here's what you'll need for a level 150 on official settings. A crossbow, 27 trank arrows, and 16 regular kibble. Alternatively to kibble, you could use 160 of any crop or 213 medjo berries. Using crops and berries will require 161 additional narcotics to keep the Anki knocked out for the duration of the taming process. You could also use pretty much any other method to knock out the Anki, like boomerangs or some kicks from an Equus. Still, it's an invaluable creature, so don't fret too much about the resources. The actual taming process is pretty straightforward. You would think that since the Anki has visible armor, it would take less damage in its body than its head, but no matter where you aim, it will always take the same amount of torpor damage. You aren't in dire need of a trap since the Anki is so slow, so just walk backwards while shooting it to save yourself some resources. When it turns around to flee, just shoot it literally wherever, and eventually it'll be knocked out. From there, you can load it up with the food you brought for it. If you're feeling uneasy about leaving it out in the open, use a carrier dino to drop it in a little taming pen before knocking it out. Honestly, it's just as easy to drop it in a safe area without a pen, so do whatever you're comfortable with. Like I said, it's a low effort tame. Let's talk about what it's good at. Ankies are one of the most versatile utility dinos in Ark. Its most well-known ability by far is metal gathering. Raw metal weighs 85% less in an Anki's inventory, meaning it can carry more metal before being encumbered. Even a low-level Anki can gather far more metal overall than a survivor with a pick, so don't feel bad if you can't find a max-level Anki right away. The Anki is actually really good at harvesting a bunch of other resources too. You can think of it like a pickaxe, meaning whatever you can gather efficiently with a pickaxe, the Anki can probably collect at a much higher rate. This goes for obsidian, flint, crystal, element shards, and a ton more. Add a little bit of health and melee damage, and it can defend itself pretty well against most creatures while it's harvesting resources. It's also a great berry gatherer, and since it's so easy to tame, I usually tame one pretty early on so I can use it to gather narco berries for narcotics. The Anki is super useful. I don't know a single arc player that doesn't get one at some point in their gameplay. All right, so let's talk about some pro tips for the Ankylosaurus. First, you can use them to collect aquatic resources like oil or fish meat. Ankies are surprisingly fast underwater and increasing their oxygen style will make them move even faster. Next, raising an Anki's melee damage will allow it to collect more resources from resource nodes. According to a user on Dotadex, this is only true up to 220% melee damage. However, I haven't verified the exact percentage. I do know for sure that there's a cap to its efficiency, so I'll personally be sticking to 220% until someone disproves it. The third Anki pro tip I have for you is that metal gathering is highly efficient when using a carrier dino like an RG or Carcanos. Carrier dinos have a lot more mobility than an Anki, so using them to move your Anki around will save you tons of time. The last pro tip is that the Anki has two tail swing animations with different hitboxes. If you look to the right, the Anki does a faster attack animation with a smaller hitbox. If you look to the left, it performs a longer animation with a tail slam that has a larger hitbox. I strongly recommend using the shorter animation for resource gathering because it'll save you a small amount of time per swing that eventually accumulates into ridiculous time savings. Ultimately, it's up to you though. Don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful and consider supporting me on Patreon to help me improve my content. Thank you so much for your time today and we'll see you in the next video.